Okay, so we pulled into a free camp spot um, in San John, and there was a man, or a boy. <laughs> How old are you? Thirteen. Oh, you're okay. A man. I, look, I know I look younger than you. Me. Look, <laughs> yes, you do look younger with just a tent and a bike. And Eric said that he was traveling from California, San Francisco, San Francisco, to New York. To New York. <laughs> And I, we think we have we think we have it rough. <laughs> I, and I started in France actually. You started in France. So I did France to Singapore, and then I took a plane. I did uh, Darwin to Sydney, and I took a plane to San Francisco, so to New York. <laughs> <laughs> Are you running from something? <laughs> no, no, no. Wow. So have you counted the miles? Yeah. How uh, in miles? In miles, I'm not sure. I'm talking kilometers. Uh. Give us kilometers. I, I Somebody had, will translate it on yeah, my channel. Twenty-nine yesterday, actually. Twenty-nine thousand kilometers. Twenty-nine thousand kilometers. I think it's. Not, it's. Well, I'm quite bad in math. That's okay. My they'll translate um, on my channel. Around twenty, 20, 20 less than twenty. Less than twenty thousand. I think. Wow. And uh, so, what is and what made you start this in the very first place? Your very first trip. Why did you? Just because I wanted to do it when I was still able to do it, and uh, I don't want to regret to not do it later. Did you save up money to do this, yeah. and then? So I live. Uh, I worked for a sport event company in the uh, UK for four years, and I saved some money, and I thought, okay, I, I, I do this now. Do you know any other people that do this, or in your uh, family or friends circle? Um, friends, no. <laughs> but yeah, you, you meet people on the way, and I met a lot of people. Yeah, a lot of German, a lot of people on the on the way because most of the people when they leave Europe and they go to uh, Asia. They go many of them in uh, Central Asia, in Tajikistan, and there you can meet a lot of lot of other cyclists. Okay. And, and then you kind of go different ways and you meet them again, and it's, it's quite. It fun. becomes well like a tribe. We call it a tribe. We call ourselves a tribe. Okay. Meaning yeah, yeah. we meet and we form a a bond like yeah. a family, and we travel together. And it's very strong bond. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, you, how? Wh when do you think you're going to get to New York? I would like to be in New York beginning of uh, beginning of July. Well, that's only a month away. Yeah. <laughs> well, you, well, you better pack up and go right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. You better leave right now because you're. Yeah. Well, how's the wind? Yesterday the wind was. I could hardly drive. Yeah. No. So yesterday the wind was really good. It was pushing me. Oh, it was pushing a you. lot. So I could go really fast. And the day before as well, really fast. Oh, so the wind is behind you. But I was yesterday, uh, no, two days ago, I was on the interstate on the I-40, and then uh, a policeman stopped me and he said I could not cycle there. Really? Uh, I didn't know because in Arizona it was it was fine. It 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 says there is a sign that says bicycle on shoulder only. Yeah. So I thought okay, that's fine. In Arizona. In Arizona, and then it, even in New Mexico, I think at the beginning I saw the sign, and here this guy said I can't cycle there, so I had to go all the way south, like. Uh, I, come, I forgot the name of the little place to get to Santa Rosa and I came back up. So you had to go all the way down? Yeah, and did a lot of kilometers, but I had the wind pushing me, it was okay. But yesterday I saw this sign again, bicycle on the, on the shoulder only, so I, I, took the, uh, I took the... Did you take a picture of the sign? Yeah, and I took a picture of the sign. Hold on. That's, that's yeah. very good information for my viewers because you just think... You can do whatever you want, but every state has different laws. Yeah. And I don't know if it's possible or not, but I've seen the sign. It says bicycle uh, something pedestrian prohibited, and then a little sign underneath, bicycle on shoulder only. So I don't understand really. Maybe you could use that picture in every state, and then the yeah. <laughs> you say, oh, uh, is this is this your state? But I think now to go to Texas, it's uh, on a small road. And, uh, after you take this. You're on Route 66? Yeah. This is his little tent and this is his bike people will say why didn't you ask him about his bike what kind of bike is that it's, a, it's an American brand actually specialized I, mm. I will, um, did you buy it here no no I bought it in, in France in France okay well thank you for your interview and just um, I usually Thanks ask so people about the feelings because I'm always interested in how people feel what do you think has been the biggest surprise when you came to the United States or what what was your unexpected uh, 
feelings or thoughts or experiences? Anything? Um, was it, this the first time you've been to America? No, I've been the United once States? in Boston. Oh, Boston. But it was maybe different. But here, yeah, it's just huge. It's, <laughs> yeah, right, I knew it was it was going to be big, but uh, yeah, when you cycle it, it's it's big and it's like really nice big mountains, really nice big rocks. And it's not, as as you can make. gallop from Gallup to uh, I forget um, Albuquerque. The stones. Did you? Yeah, 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 yeah. See the window rocks, and I mean, some of those were. Yeah. I felt like I was on Mars or yeah, something, yeah, yeah, yeah. on a you different planet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when you cycle there, it's really nice. Now, um, what do you have a website that you've posted maybe a couple things because you don't have much solar and it takes a lot of... Yeah. What's your website? So it's oaaicycletour.com. O-A-A-I Cycle 2. Tour. 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 T-O-U-R. Sorry. T-O-U-O. Oh, cycle Tour. Okay. Tour. Yes. Dot com. No, I don't put much, but I, I put pictures on Facebook, Instagram, and but on my website I have a because I have a tracker and people can follow where I am every day, even if I have no internet, nothing. People can see where I am, where I sleep. Oh, good, they can track you yeah. on your website. Yeah. Oh, people would love to do that. We have a lot of viewers that aren't living this life, so they're okay. watching us fail and all of our mistakes. So uh, when yeah. they when they do it, so they'll do it just right. It's little tracker, and every night I press a button and people see where I put my tents. Okay, my friends and families they can actually go use Google Street View as well and they can see where I, where I sleep. Well that's that's unusual because all of us we don't want our families to know where we I are. <laughs> we we make you know we lie about where we're traveling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't want our families to know because they would come get us. Yeah. <laughs> well thank you so much. And your name thank is you. Joan? Joan, yes. Joan. I just like saying the name. Alright, thank yeah. you.